added two tablespoons of corn syrup, one cup of granulated sugar. We're just going to turn that on, bring it to 350. It should take about five minutes. So I'm just going to stir the sugar in with the syrup to get it to dissolve, and then it will. I'll bring it to 350 Fahrenheit to a light golden. Heavy cream. I'm just going to pour it in here, heat it up until it's warm. I'm just going to slowly add in the cream to deglaze it. So it's starting to turn light golden. There's still some crystals of sugar. My cream is boiled, warm. When this is 350, I'm just going to slowly add in the cream. So I'm just cooking it at 350. It kind of is tricky because it looks a lot lighter than it is, but it's actually, once I put the cream in, it's going to be ready. Like, you don't want it to taste bitter because if it gets too dark, it will have a bitter taste and then it won't be sweet and salty, your brownies, when you put it in. And add in the cream. You just want to add it in slowly because it will bubble up. You want to make sure you have a big enough pot. If not, it will end up going everywhere. Just going to take it off the heat, mix it in. And there you are. That's it. Just going to add a quarter cup of the sour cream. Just adding the one teaspoon of salt. I want it mixed all the way together. Then I'm going to start the brownie mix and set this aside to cool. So I'm just adding the all-purpose flour. The cocoa powder. And the salt. I'm going to sift this together and set it aside. I'm going to sift the dry ingredients. Chocolate and the butter over double boiler. I'm using 60%. You want to make sure that you don't overheat your chocolate. You don't want it any higher than 110. So even though you do have some butter lumps, fairly large, I'm just going to turn off the heat because the residual heat will still keep melting the butter. So I'm just stirring it to break up the butter lumps. Once it's completely smooth, I'll add the eggs. Just cracking the egg. Today I decided to use duck eggs for a richer flavor. So I put two in. I'm just going to stir it. Break it up. Once these are all the way incorporated, I'm just going to add the rest and do the same. You don't want to overmix this process just because then you'll get, end up getting a cakey brownie. We want a dense, fudgy brownie. I'm just going to combine the two sugars. Granulated sugar and packed brown sugar. From there, I'm just right away put it in with the egg chocolate mixture. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix it in. 
Once everything is incorporated, all the wet ingredients, I'm going to add in the dry. Doing it in two increments. You want to fold it in as much as possible. Okay. Once it's almost all the way mixed, I'm just going to add the other half. I preheated the oven to 350. So I'm using a 9 by 9 pan. I'm just going to just grease it up. I'm using the butter wrapper from before. I just save them and reuse them because there's still some butter stuck on the paper. Okay. So I'm trying to cut a piece of parchment that will actually fit in without crinkling on the sides. So with the parchment you want to have it about a half an inch to an inch above from the bottom. So I'm just going to pour my batter in about a third. it off. Spread it. Just making sure that the parchment, parchment doesn't slide down. There we are. Trying to keep it as even as possible. So you want to put the caramel on half of the amount that you made and make sure you stay a uh, about an inch from the sides because if it does leak out it's going to be really gooey and stick and then end up burning. There we are. Just spread it and that's it. Then we're going to put more of the brownie mix on top. A little bit more. It's tricky. You want to make sure you start with the sides sort of to create a wall because you want to keep the caramel from seeping to the sides and touching the pan. So you just want to go around, do the sides first, and then you cover the middle. Cover it all up. That's it. Now we're just going to bake it. You don't want to see any streaks of the caramel. When it's ready, I'm just going to put my brownies in. And set my timer for 30 minutes. I just want to check to make sure it's done. So I just dip in the knife and just make sure it comes off clean. Let it cool and then we'll slice it. I like to have fairly large brownies, so I'm just going to slice it into six pieces. And then each slice I have some of the caramel reserves and just pour it on top.